Hello everyone, we are here today to take you on a full resort tour of Disney's Vero Beach Resort. We're going to show you all the fun activities they have, where everything's located, and all the great food options. Disney's Vero Beach Resort is here in Vero Beach, Florida, only about two hours away from Walt Disney World and Orlando International Airport. It is a Disney Vacation Club Resort, and it's one of the smallest at just over 200 rooms. But there's plenty to do here on the property, so we're going to show you everything, including the awesome beach that they have out front. So let's go check it out. So just over here to the right of the main lobby, we have our welcome home sign with a TikTok the crocodile topiary. We've got a few different Peter Pan references throughout this resort, but that one's kind of cool out here out front. Of course, being a Disney Vacation Club resort, they've got the Vacation Club mats. And Vero Beach is known for its sea turtle nesting areas. So we've got the sea turtles there on the wall. You'll see lots of turtle references throughout the resort because of those nesting areas. This building is known as the Inn. And there are rooms here in the Inn, the main building, both ocean view and standard view. Four floors here of rooms. And you access those rooms via the elevators right over here on your left when you come in. Of course, you're going to have the front desk here where you can check in and get help from the concierge if needed. And behind me on the right is where you'll find the store. Island Grove Packing Company is the store here at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. In here you'll find a lot of Disney Vacation Club member merchandise throughout as well as some other standard Disney merchandise like jewelry over here. They've got Alex and Annie bracelets on the wall. Got a little section for kitchen wares over here right now. And this super cute display has nothing to do with shopping. But check out this truck. It's an orange truck, which may or may not have a hidden Mickey in the oranges. Kind of hard to tell. But if you look at the window of the truck, you can see Mickey and Pluto are in the front seat. It looks like Minnie is in the back of the truck. And Donald's in the rear view mirror. And Chip and Dale are over there picking oranges. So really fun little piece of the store here totally unnecessary but really fun that they took the time to build that in there and it looks like this truck is kind of backing up to the garage to unload their oranges which is pretty cool also these signs right here have lists of the movies that they have available and you can check out those DVDs from the store here for free while you're staying here Some Vero Beach branded merchandise like hats and ornaments and pens. And then on the other side of the store, we have the more important things like sunscreen. Very important with all the sun time you get out here on the beach. And then a whole section of swimwear, both for kids and for adults. We've got clothing and swimwear, some plushes, some toys, sandals of course, and then more swimwear over there. There is a little section here where you can get a few different medical supplies and such if you need them, but in this store there are no food items really other than just a few of the kind of Disney snacks over here on the wall. If you're looking for more of the pantry type items those are in the market which we'll be exploring in just a few minutes. So if you head up these stairs right here it will take you to the green cabin room. And the green cabin room is a family lounge. It has both indoor and outdoor seating. 
and we'll explore that here in just a few moments. And they are only open in the evenings, so great place to relax and have a drink and maybe a few light snacks and just sit and watch the ocean. We have this room where there are TVs and video games that you can check out typically, as well as a phone charging station. And then along the wall, we have a lot of different shadow boxes from over the years here at Vero Beach, different things from local stores and stuff. We have a little pirate shadow box there with some treasure maps and things. And a couple shadow boxes dedicated to the Dodgers because the Dodgers used to do all their spring training here. So that was part of the theming here at Vero Beach was kind of the treasure and sports and nature. And now they really kind of lean heavily on the nature side of things. A lot of stuff going on with the turtles that nest here and it's pretty cool. Going a little farther down this hallway, we have a gigantic cannon pointing right at my face. Let's go around that. Kind of a cool thing to have out, but a little bit unsettling to look down the barrel. I feel like I was back at Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Now this room is the spa, but this first kind of lobby area here is not part of the spa. This is just a little lounge area where they have lots of tables and chairs set up. And in the tabletop of several of these tables, they have some Disney versions of board games built in, specifically Disney Vacation Club versions. They've got Clue and Monopoly, and it looks like another one of Clue over here, the Tower of Terror version. So we've got several games built in the tabletops and some fun pictures around from the early days of Walt Disney pictures with Walt there on the wall and then some pictures from some of the different Disney nature and true life adventure productions over the years. So that's really cool. And then heading over into the corner here, not open at the moment. So they have kind of a table block in the way, but this is the side entrance to the spa, which you can also access from outside there on the porch and we'll see that in just a moment. Now we're going to head back all the way across the lobby here to the right hand side of the lobby and that's where we'll find a few other lounge areas and a dining option. So over here to the right of the main lobby we have another lounge area. This one's a little more geared towards smaller kids. We've got a couple iPads normally there in the center. And we also have a little kids TV area. So if you're waiting for your room to be ready, over here is where you'd wanna bring the kids most likely, unless you wanna head out to the pool or something. Some more old pictures on the wall, just from the area here. And then heading further down this hallway, we're gonna find the Wind and Waves Grill. That is our table service restaurant here and each day they do have a daily special of a pizza a fresh fish and some type of meat and some type of plant-based option so this is our only table service here besides the lounge upstairs which really doesn't have dinners or anything like that and there is kind of a smaller dining room here not a ton of tables in there can't really see because it's got the tenant windows but you can see seating out here so just a few tables and reservations of course are recommended if you're going to be eating there so let's head outside and go kind of explore the grounds so out here behind the main lobby we have a pretty large kind of deck area several chairs on either side if you want to come out here and sit, you can hear the ocean. You can kind of see it too. A little bit hard to see the ocean over the hedge there. The hedge is actually in place to block the light from the resort from being seen down on the beach because when baby sea turtles hatch, they go towards the light. And we don't want them coming up the beach, we want them going back to the ocean. Now this stairwell here takes us up to 
the green cabin room that we saw earlier and it has the outdoor patio and the outdoor patio is never actually closed so if you're looking for somewhere to come and have a seat and just watch the ocean this is a great place As you can see, other than the ocean view rooms, this is probably one of the best views on property here because you are elevated like this. And the green down below us, this lawn here, is where you will find the movies under the stars every night and occasionally some other activities and games as well. So we are going to go to the left, you know, down by the spa and some of the cottages as well as the campfire. And then we'll go down and explore the pool area and the rest of the resort that way. This really is a beautiful resort. Lots of greenery everywhere. It's very peaceful. Over on the left, this is the spa that we saw earlier when we were inside. This is the main entrance to that. You got the double doors there to go into the spa where they offer all kinds of services like massage and things like that. Highly recommend checking that out if you have the chance. And then just across from the spa entrance, we have a fun little sign here that kind of directs you towards, well, the beach, but also a lot of other Disney resorts and how far away they are. Disney's Grand California and the villas there. Hilton Head Island, of course. My favorite one is the Aulani. It's only 5,017 miles, you know. So if you're not staying in the inn, then you'll be in one of the villas buildings. And those buildings are located on either side of the inn. You'll notice all around the resort too, they have lots of these hammocks just kind of around the pathways so you can stop and relax. And different times of the day, different ones, the ones of those are in the shade. So you kind of have to pick and choose which ones you use. Now through these hedges over here, we have a couple different things. First, over on our left, We can kind of see through the bushes there. Not really, we'll go around. This is actually a grill area with some picnic tables. So if you'd like to grill a little bit, they do have a couple charcoal grills set up over here with a few picnic tables, kind of tucked away, hidden back in the bushes beside building 12 of the villas. And then across from this, we have the campfire site and this is really a big deal here when they're doing the campfires a lot of space a lot of benches out here and a pretty good sized fire pit too so really cool little area here now just to the right of the campfire if you want to go down to the beach you can do that there's a little path through the woods here and a gate. Now once you go through these gates, you are no longer on Disney property. You will be on the public beach property. A little room key here to open it. And there's some picnic tables over here and such. And a public beach access area. So restrooms and a boardwalk to access the beach. You can hear the ocean down there. So if you wanted to come over to the more 
public beach area, you could do that. If you're staying in villas in building number 12 or in one of these cottages here on the end, might be a little bit quicker to get down to the beach versus going back to the main entrance by the pool. So just something to keep in mind. We're gonna head back over into the resort. So these are the three bedroom cottages they have here at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. They do sleep up to 12 people. They are beautiful. They're off on their own. They're not connected to any other buildings. So it's really kind of cool to get your own space to stay in with you and your family. And if you need an accessible cottage, because they are two stories, the one down here on the end, 1150, is accessible. So if you book that accessible room, you will be able to stay here with a wheelchair because they do have an elevator inside and then ramps and things like that. So the cottages are pretty amazing. Definitely worth checking out if you have a larger group. Got another hammock there. One thing I do want to point out on the main building, the end building here, you can kind of see through the trees, is there is actually a parking garage underneath the building. So if you're staying in the inn, there is a parking garage down there underneath the building. You don't have to park in the parking lot. And they do have parking garages under each of the individual villa buildings as well. There's always a breeze here because you have the ocean. Kind of hear the ocean through the hedges there. Looks like they're doing some work and moving things around over here on the right, but this little sand pit normally has a couple cornhole boards in it so you can play. Everything is kind of centered around the pool here as far as the activities and food and things like that and the beach access as well. So once you're inside the pool gates, we have several things. We have the pool and the water slide, of course, but we also have the kids play area in the back and a mini golf course. So we'll go check those out. Water slide. It's actually a pretty cool water slide. Every day around three o'clock, they have water slide races where they see who can be the fastest to complete the water slide. Now, over here kind of in the back we do have our mini golf and you can rent the mini golf equipment from ebb and flows where we'll be checking out in just a few minutes and that is free for dvc members so you can rent the equipment there and a lot of these holes have like a peter pan theming to them you can see we got a couple crocodiles over here looking a lot like TikTok the crocodile. Some pirate ship type stuff in some of the holes with the ship wheel and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Now, right now the playground area is closed, but the kids' playground is right back here on the back side of the pool by the mini golf. Pretty decent little uh, jungle gym there too. And then on the other side of this playground by the pool area is where you'll find the Tiger Lily aquatic play area, also known as the splash pad. It's pretty cool. It's got this pirate ship that's spraying all over the place. It's got cannons. It's got a very authentic pirate bird. Yeah, sure. He came here just for our video. That's nice of him. So a pretty cool little splash pad over here. And then over here to the left of the main pool, you can see we've got a little hot tub over here. 
Not very big, seats maybe six or eight people, but just over here to the left of the pool. So coming out of the pool area over on the right, you'll find a little break in the hedges. And this is how you get to the beach. Now the beach is public property. However, this area up here is still part of the Vera Beach Resort. So this is the green cabin. Here at the green cabin, you can rent all kinds of things like chairs, umbrellas, cabanas, even body boards. So you can get those. However, the life vests are not available here. They are available by the pool at Ebb and Flows and we'll show you that place here in just a couple minutes. Now, every time you see one of these little red sticks with the tape around it, those are sea turtle nests. So they've marked them off so you don't disturb the nests while the sea turtles are still there. And then of course, once they hatch, they'll come through and clean that up and open up the beach to everyone else. Now, just down below us here at the rental shack, there is a outside company that rents out things like jet skis and surfboards and such. So they're set up down there pretty much every day. And lots more sea turtle nests across the beach as you keep looking down. Plenty of space for everyone to spread out. It's a beautiful day, so lots of people hanging out in the ocean. Although looking at that sky, they may not be hanging out much longer. Now, when you're up here heading down to the beach, there is a ramp down to the right when you're approaching that takes you to the beach, but there's also a set of stairs over here on your left when you come up to the top of the ramp. So you can go down via stairs or ramp. The stairs are much faster, but a little easier going down that ramp. Hello. So the first thing we come to is Wyndham Waves Bar. That is the pool bar here. You can order a variety of drinks there, of course, but at certain times of day in the evening, you can also order food from the Wind and Waves Grill. So if you're looking for the food from the Wind and Waves Grill without a table service reservation, you can always get the food there at the bar. And then right here we have the Wind and Waves Market. This is our quick service location here at Vero Beach. And there's also a little market component inside here for groceries and such. So heading inside here, you can see we've got lots of great quick service food here. We've got sandwiches and salads and burgers and all kinds of good stuff. We've had several really good meals from here. And then over on the right, we have our ice cream cooler and our little grocery area. So if you're looking to get some grocery items, those are over here. We got some more grocery items in the cooler here. And then they do have the resort refillable mugs as well, just like at the Walt Disney World Resort. So you can grab those and get unlimited refills from the soda fountain over here. Hello. And go right over here where we'll find the fitness center and community hall. No, they're not one and the same. They're just through the same door. So we come in here down this hallway is where we'll find our Anchors Away Fitness Center. And give me our key to get in there. So the fitness center in here, we've got some machines. We've got, of course, treadmills and things like that. And of course, we have all the weight machines and things like that, as well as a set of free weights over there against the mirror. Now, coming out of the fitness center, over on the left here, there is another door. This leads us to the community hall where you can do all kinds of crafts depending on the day of the week. Hello. Hello. Good. What, what kind of crafts? What kind of crafts are we doing today? We have Ooh. Disney pillows, we have canvas 
bags, seashell painting, and we also have some talk craft going on today. Okay, so this is for the little guys. Little guys who can't do the painting and stuff, I see. That's cool. And you can make your own pillow. That's a lot of patterns. Got a really fun drawing on the chalkboard there, reminding you to keep your lights off at night. There are no lights allowed on the beach at night because it does discourage the sea turtles from nesting. Still right around the pool here. You've got the restrooms and lockers and sauna over here. Now the sauna is right around the corner here. Right there. And then of course the restrooms on either side do have showers and lockers as well. And then just a little further, right around the corner here, is Ebb and Flow's Rentals. This is where you'll get, well, pretty much anything you need to rent for poolside or any kind of recreation. Now on the board here, we have information about some of the activities going on as well as the results from those water slide races that I was talking about earlier. So here at Ebb and Flows Rentals, you will get everything you need for the pool, everything from sports equipment to pool towels to renting the bikes that are over there. You can do all of that here. And then when you're done, you'll bring your used pool towels next door to the window here and just drop them in there at the return. Around the corner here, we have a shuffleboard. There's a shuffleboard court, shuffleboard table. I don't know, whatever you call shuffleboard, it's there. And there's also a ping pong table on the far side over there. And of course, all the bikes here that you can rent. Now, just past that, if we follow the crocodile footprints that are kind of still on the ground a little bit, this will take us over to the Peter Pan Tunnel. So let's head over that way. This is one of the coolest things because Disney's Vero Beach Resort actually has property on the other side of the main street. So instead of crossing the street, they've got you just going under it here. So here at the end of the tunnel, we see some pirates hanging out up there on the wall. Our friend Tinkerbell and her trail of pixie dust that leads us all the way down the tunnel. And it looks like uh, Mr. Smee couldn't quite handle the stairs. So he's flying down those. Let's head through the tunnel and just see. Pretty cool the time and effort they put into this with the characters that they've painted on the walls. And you got a little Disney music, little Peter Pan music going on. On this side, we have the man himself, well, the boy himself, I guess, since he never grows up. We have Wendy. And then at the very end of the tunnel, we have Nana. Over here on our left, we're going to find the different courts. We've got tennis courts and basketball courts, as all DVC resorts do. So over here on the right are the tennis courts. We do have two full-size tennis courts over here. And then on the left, we've got a half-court basketball court. So if you're looking for some exercise or sports while you're here. So we're going to go over here to the right. We're going to go and try to find treasure trails and see where those go. We've actually not been 
all the way through here. So this could be interesting. We're going exploring. Now, a lot of the focus at Disney's Vero Beach Resort is on nature and preserving nature. So this trail is not really maintained or cut back at all besides this little path right here in the middle. So you might see some wild animals or some plants that you don't want to touch. One cool thing is that throughout these trails, they've got little signs put there by the naturalist to explain what the different plants are. This is warning you about some of the plants you don't want to be messing with. We're gonna try and just avoid all the plants as much as we can as we walk through here. This is very much like everything here used to be before it was developed. Just kind of wild and overgrown. This is Florida, people. Ooh, that's fun. Let's think about all the spiders that are out here while we're walking through the woods. Yeah, that's what I wanted to think about. Spiders. So it looks like the path kind of splits. One goes to the lake. Let's see where this one goes. If there's one thing that Florida has plenty of, it is definitely lizards. If there's another path to the lake, but it does look like the trail continues on. So let's go. And with it being the middle of June, I kind of thought we'd have an issue with bugs, but uh, so far so good. What does this say? Oh, palm trees, our favorite. Now it looks like the path does keep going. Or we can go over here to the lake. Let's just go look at the lake and then we'll keep going. We're close, we gotta go check it out. So we've got a little bench here by the lake. Kind of like a tiki hut on the other side of some kind. So hopefully we'll get there eventually if we keep following the trail. I'm not actually sure where it winds up. Ah, and the fountain. Also known as Inspiration Fountain because it inspires you to go deeper and deeper into the jungle. Yes, that was a terrible, terrible Jungle Cruise pun reference. I apologize but I don't because the Jungle Cruise is amazing. The only thing more exciting than learning about the spiders that are out here with us is learning about the non-venomous snakes. All right. And they, they may bite, but they're harmless. So, you know, you could get bitten by a snake and it would hurt, but it wouldn't hurt you. Yeah, that sounds like, let's just not do that. I don't, I don't want to think about all the snakes and spiders that are out here right now. Let's just, let's just keep going. Oh, and local residents. Some of the critters you may see while you're out here. Let's just, let's just hope we avoid most of them. I don't really want to deal with an angry river otter right now. Oh, and there's like a little little doorway thing here. This must be the end of the path. I'm going to guess that this is the end of the path because we got a couple benches. Oh, dragonfly right there. So I guess from here, we just keep going around the lake because the trail ended. So we made it all the way through. No bug bites, no animal sightings. Alive in one piece. I'm gonna call that a success. So there's just this little uh, grilling area with some picnic tables. Little pier right here. Just saw a fish pop up over there, so suppose you could fish here. Got this really cool like 
tiki hut thing. I don't know what they use the hut for. It's got these little like tables. It's really cool. And then they do have a second fire pit over here. This is kind of their overflow campfire. So in the middle of the summer, sometimes when it's really busy, they've got a lot of people wanting to come to the campfire. They will often come over here and have a second one going and usually do this for like the teenagers or something like that to kind of split up the crowd and make sure everyone gets to have access to the campfire. They have a couple uh, little restroom outhouses there. Makes sense, you're over here far away from everything. And then at the end of the trail, huh, there's a soccer field and a volleyball. Pit, volleyball court, volleyball area. Yeah, whatever you call a volleyball thing. There it is. Volleyball net and sand. And that brings us right back around to the Beachside Breezeway, also known as the Peter Pan Tunnel for obvious reasons. Well, that's really cool up there above the entrance. If you believe in magic, you belong. Join Disney Vacation Club. Well, they left the word join off, but I think it was kind of implied, right? Now we're gonna keep going around the pool where we'll find the other villa buildings here. So these are buildings 14 and 15. So if you're in the villas, you're either gonna be in 12 on the other side or you're gonna be over here in 14 or 15. Unless, of course, you're in the cottages. These little adorable cottages that are kind of spread out. There are six of them here, but only the one that we showed earlier is accessible. So this is the edge of the Disney Vero Beach Resort property. You got a couple cottages down here at the very end. So if you're in one of these end cottages, might be a little bit of a walk but compared to well, pretty much all of the resorts at Walt Disney World, this one is a lot smaller, a lot closer together with all the buildings. So even if you're in the furthest building from the inn, really not that bad of a walk. There is another entrance to get down to the beach, kind of cut out in the hedges right here. Thank you for joining us on that tour of Disney's Vero Beach Resort. We hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please comment below your favorite part of the video. And if you've stayed here before, let us know your favorite thing to do. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we put out new videos around the Walt Disney World Resorts and other Disney Resorts around the world. Thanks so much for watching and until next time. We're here with the ears.